two is the magic number tonight. Two teams remaining in this 2020 NCAA tournament. As the Cinderella team, 11th seeded Arkansas Razorbacks, are searching for their second ever national championship. They will be taking on the Virginia Cavaliers, also searching for their second ever national championship, but looking for their second straight title. Both teams making remarkable runs this season. Arkansas is an 11 seed. Virginia has the 5. And now they have one chance at immortality. The national championship in Atlanta is underway. Virginia wins the opening tip. As Diakite sits at the top of the key working on Jalen Harris. Well, to Tensai, he can knock down the three ball. He's going to take a drive instead. Gets fouled on the drive by Mason Jones. That's exactly what you don't want if you were Arkansas, getting one of your best players an early, early foul. But here we go now between Virginia and Arkansas, two teams that have very different styles of play. Arkansas, a team that obviously loves to shoot the ball. They rely on the, those three-pointers. They rely on those deep, mid-range jumpers from the likes of Mason Jones, Isaiah Joe, and Jimmy Witt. While Virginia, on the other hand, as well as knocks down the first free throw. While Virginia is more of a defensive-led team, Tony Bennett, when he came to Virginia, we knew that defense was going to be his specialty and defense was going to be what made Virginia relevant again. And we've seen that. That is exactly the reason that they won the national title last year while they were the number over, number one overall seed two years ago and a major reason why they're back in the national championship this year. So something's got to give tonight. Either Virginia's defense will stay shut down or Arkansas will find a way to break the suffocating Cavaliers squad. Reggie Chaney on the drive. Major, major performance in that Final Four matchup. Ethan Henderson gets the offensive rebound. Chaney, another chance blocked. Another chance blocked again. My goodness. You talk about a rim protector. Walter Tensai and Diakite doing their job for that Virginia defense like we were talking about. Beautiful defense by the Cavaliers. Walter Tensai with four to shoot. Back out to Diakite. He's going to have to take a deep three. Right off the back of the iron, no good. Jalen Harris, the speedster, beautiful pass inside Ethan Henderson, who knocks down the short shot. We're all knotted up at two now, a minute and a half into this national championship game. As well, Tensai inside pass to Diakite gets the contested lay in to go. And those are the two players that you have to watch out for. For Virginia. DK Kite, obviously a major reason why Virginia got to that national championship last year. If he does not hit that buzzer beater against Purdue, then the Cavaliers fall in the Elite Eight. As they get a quick steal, Volta Tense leads it in. Six to two now. So not the start you want from Arkansas. But DK Kite, the key for the Cavaliers, same for Volta Tense as well. Who just got the lay in there and has done a great job defensively and as a for a big man, shoots the three ball extremely well. Jalen Harris inside to Reggie Cheney. He needs to take that shot. He's that close to the rim. Five to shoot for Arkansas. End of the corner for Mason Jones. Gotta get it off. Great drive and great lay in. Six to four. Virginia leads. And Mason Jones, a guy that should have won SEC player of the year as well. A ten side takes a three. Can't get it to go. And a guy who really had to step up when he didn't have his partner in Isaiah Joe when he was out for five games. And we saw how well he played multiple 30-point games, a couple 40-point games. Mason Jones, one of the best players in the SEC, maybe even one of the best players in the nation. Big shot early in this one. Isaiah Joe out to Jalen Harris. He's got to take a three as the shot clock expires. Can't get that one to go. So neither team shooting very well from three-point land. As Marcel is going to take a mid-range jumper. And the tip in by Diakite is no good. Arkansas choosing to play fast now. Beautiful pass from Isaiah Joe to Mason Jones. 
quick little 4 0 spurt from Arkansas to tie it all back up at six. Another beautiful pass into Huff. So we saw this in yesterday's Final Four matchup between Arkansas and Florida State. How great the inside game was and how neither team shot the three ball very well. We're seeing that again here tonight. Both teams relying on paint points more so than outside shots. Isaiah Joe, a lethal three-point shooter, decides to drive it in himself. In a relatively high-scoring first quarter here, tied up at eight. Virginia will hold for the final shot in this first quarter. Roll to ten side, working around the edge. Contested by Harris and can't get it to go. So we've played one here in Atlanta. And we're all knotted up at eight. We're in for a good one, guys. It's exactly what national championships should be made of. Virginia and Arkansas. We're back here at the beginning of this second quarter. Both Eric Musselman and Tony Bennett making a few substitutions here. Got to get some fresh legs in there for both teams that do not have a very deep roster. Virginia certainly, in my opinion, owning the defensive edge and the size edge. Musselman putting in one of the best mid-range shooters in the country, Jimmy Witt, who goes on the drive and gets it to go. Arkansas takes a 10-8 lead. As they're shooting well over 50% from the field tonight. And yet somehow are still only up by two points. And I think that's a lot of credit to Virginia's defense. Doing a great job of getting rebounds, which is something that Arkansas does not do extremely well. It's getting rebounds, whether it be offensively or defensively. As Morcel driving into the lane. Contested shot. Doesn't get the reset for the Cavaliers. File on the cl shot clock for Statman. George out to Morcell, who hits the three to take a one-point lead. So Morcell, who got his own miss a second ago, makes up for it from behind, behind three-point range. The first triple we've seen knocked down tonight from either team. And that's a big one early. Desi Sill sending it out to Adrian Bailey, who's blocked again. This Virginia defense, unbelievable. Desi Sills with one to shoot. Can't hit the mid-range. Jimmy Witt would have been the guy to take that shot. But Virginia, already three blocks, all in the paint. And all masterfully executed. Caffera working on Bailey. Doing a lot of the same moves. Can't get anything going. Three to shoot for Caffero. He's going to have to take a jump shot here. Fade away jumper. No good. Mason Jones collects the rebound. You can expect him to play... Practically the entire game as he gets a great inside pass to Jimmy Witt. Who gets it to go? 12-11 now in favor of Arkansas. And Tony Bennett wants a timeout. After such fantastic defense inside by the Cavaliers. Multiple block shots. Multiple great rebounds. Arkansas still somehow finds himself up by one point. Despite having not made a three-point shot nearly halfway through this national championship. But you can already see that Arkansas is doing a better job of collecting themselves defensively. They were annihilated against Florida State by Dominic Alanichuk, who had nearly half of Florida State's points in that Final Four thriller. And you can see Arkansas not allowing a guy like Mamadi Diakite to beat them up on that. Not allowing a guy like Thomas Woldetensai to get inside and dominate them very well. So Arkansas doing a solid job defensively, but Virginia, on the other hand, in my opinion, doing a really good job of forcing Arkansas to play it at their pace. Virginia is a team that we've said over and over again does not score a lot of points, but that doesn't matter because they don't allow their opponents to score many points either. Defensive-led team, they're forcing Arkansas to play exactly like that. So with 154 remaining in this second quarter, Arkansas clinging to a one-point lead. Still plenty of time to go here as Virginia 
searching for their second straight national championship. So well, the ten side drives in. Can't get it to go. But the second time he's been fouled on a drive, this time at the hands of Desi Sills. He will head to the line for two. Virginia looking to become the first team to win back-to-back -back national championships since Florida did so back in 2006 and 2007. Arkansas looking to win their first national championship since 1994. As Volta Tensai hits the first free throw. And it appears that Diakite will be coming back in for the Cavaliers as Tony Bennett wants to make some major substitutions, only keeping Statman in from these previous five. Tie ball game here. Wolta Tensai hits the second. Virginia back up by one. I've got the feeling that we're going to have a back and forth game all the way until the end. Much like we've seen really from many of the Sweet 16 games on. Only a handful of blowouts, but the majority of the games have been relatively close. As Isaiah Joe's going to take a deep two. Can't hit it. So Joe, outside of the one drive that he's had, has not been shooting well from deep range like he is known to do. Virginia has a chance to take a three, maybe even a four-point lead here as we approach halftime. Well, the ten side once again on the drive. Cheney cutting him off. Out to Clark at the top of the key. He's going to have to shoot. One on the clock. And just rims out, but Diakite gets the miss and lays it in. Duck! By Mamani Diakite. And that's something that you can't have if you're the Razorbacks. They've got to be able to box out and get those rebounds. Second chance points will be crucial in this one. Virginia immediately gets the edge there. What a slam by Diakite. Cheney inside. Gets a beautiful lay-in. Contested shot. Double team. Gets it to go. Up against Florida State in yesterday's Final Four matchup. A major reason why Arkansas is even playing in this national championship game. Well, a 10 side with 10 to shoot. Quick steal by the Razorbacks. Desi Sills gets it. And decides to slow it down. Pulls it back. Arkansas going to set up. Witt. Inside of Cheney. See if he can make a move. He's going to take an interesting little lay in there. A little bit of a floater. Can't get it to go. And Virginia, up by one, can hold for the final shot. Statman can't get the jumper to go. And we head into halftime with the reigning national champions leading the 11 seeded Arkansas Razorbacks 15 to 14. One half down here in Atlanta. One half to go before we finally crown ourselves a king of the dance. Back here in Atlanta, beginning at the third quarter. Second half underway with Virginia leading Arkansas 15-14. The 5 seed over the 11 seed in this 2020 National Championship game. As the Cavaliers waste no time. Quick start, quick steal as Morcel kicks it out to Walter Tensai. Who hits the deep two? Foot must have been on the line. 
But nonetheless, great transition offense from Tony Bennett's squad and a great fast start for them coming out of halftime. In these first half takeaways, you can see neither team is shooting the ball from deep very well, although well, the 10-side has hit a great one there. Arkansas struggling on the board, not doing a very good job of collecting rebounds. As Isaiah Joe on the drive hits the back of the iron, doesn't pop in. So Virginia's defense... As Marcel can't get the lane to go, but he gets his own miss and kicks it out to Diakite, who takes the jumper, and that one rims out. But Virginia's defense living up to expectations as Mason Jones takes a deep two and hits it. Trading shot for shot here between the Cavaliers and the Razorbacks. Back to a one-point lead as Huff, though, lays it in. So we are seeing a very fast-paced game. We did not see that in the first half, but Virginia trying to up the pace here, and it's Obviously, caught the Razorbacks off guard early in the second half. Still only leading by three, though. Jalen Harris working in the lane. Eight to shoot. Mason Jones for three. Off the back of the iron, can't connect. And it's baffling to me how many missed threes and lack thereof that we've seen from Mason Jones and Isaiah Joe who have been two of the best three-point shooters in the SEC this season. As Walter Tensai on the drive again, high off the glass, gets it to go. And Virginia has their largest lead of the night, five points. And Walter Tensai has 10 of the 21 Cavalier points. We mentioned earlier how Arkansas struggled against Elaney Chuck in yesterday's Final Four against Florida State. Walter Tensai providing the same problems for Arkansas, this time from Virginia, as Reggie Cheney. Gets the floater to go. 21-18 now, and Tony Bennett wants another timeout. It was 15-14 heading into halftime, and it's now 21-18. So Virginia only leading by three right now with a minute 40 remaining in the third quarter. But once again, you can see just the change in pace. Uh, you can see that was obviously something that Tony Bennett wanted to address, wanted to focus on, was, yes, we're going to make Arkansas play our style. And there's something to be said for playing an up-tempo style. If you can execute it perfectly, if you offensively can run a high-tempo offense, well, it provides problems for the other team. You can force them into more turnovers, force them into more mistakes, Force them into maybe some rush shots. And so that is something that we're seeing here in this third quarter. Virginia doing that. They've already had a couple steals. We saw a couple big blocks in that first half. And the Cavaliers holding on to a three-point lead right now. Coming out of the timeout. And Tony Bennett out of the timeout, making mass substitutions, taking out all the five we just saw, putting in some new ones. Eric Musselman taking out Isaiah Joe and Reggie Chaney for Desi Sills and Giantel Silla. So some more size for the Razorbacks and a great bench player in Sills here. Two seconds to shoot for Clark. Deep three. Off the back of the iron. And Silla collects the rebound. Jalen Harris had an open look for three. Decided against it. If it had been anyone else, he may have taken it. Still working around the right end. Kicks it into Silla. Inside the paint. Out to Henderson. Tough lay-in. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Silla. Who can't get that one to go? Two missed lay-ins by the Razorbacks. And once again, when you are undermanned, when you are an underdog, those are the shots that you have to hit. Razorbacks unable to capitalize there. Trailing by three with 35 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Clark on the drive. Beautiful backdoor cut from George. Slamming it down for the Cavaliers. It's two beautiful dunks we've seen from George and Diakite. 23-18 Virginia. Matching their largest lead of the night. How will Arkansas respond? 22 seconds remaining. Jalen Harris, mid-range jumper. Too much. Arkansas has gone cold since Tony Bennett's timeout. That defense, once again, very suffocating for the Cavaliers. And Virginia can hold for the final shot in this third quarter, up by five. Clark sending it inside to George. 
He's going to have to take a fadeaway jumper at the buzzer. And it just rims out. So three quarters down here in Atlanta. The reigning national champions, the Virginia Cavaliers, are four minutes away from back-to-back -back titles. What will Eric Musselman and the Razorbacks have to say about that? And we take a look at our assist of the game brought to you by State Farm. It was a beautiful, beautiful pass earlier in the game to Diakite, although that backdoor cut from George a second ago really could have given that one a run for their money. Virginia going to get the ball at the beginning of this fourth quarter up by five. Once again, looking to become the first team since Florida in 2006 and 2007 to repeat as national champions. Arkansas searching for their first since 1994. Clark at the top of the key. Virginia can slow it down now. Waste as much time as they can. Into the corner to key. Two to shoot. Clark going to have to take a deep three. Can't get it to go, but George maintains possession for the Cavaliers. Takes a little jump stop. Can't get it to go either. Adrio Bailey collects the rebound. Razorbacks lucky that Virginia was not able to hit on any of those. Jimmy Witt back in the game. We've got a reach in foul on George, who has been playing so well for Virginia here. Beautiful dunk earlier. Great rebounding. Couple key blocks earlier. And Eric Musselman sensing the urgency, sitting Isaiah Joe back in, putting Reggie Chaney back in, trying to give Arkansas a little more size inside since they've been unable to shoot very well from behind the arch. Isaiah Joe on the drive, kicking it out to Chaney, back out to Harris. Good ball movement, five to shoot. And we've got a traveling violation on Jalen Harris. Just critical, critical and poor turnovers from Arkansas. We've seen three-second violations. We've seen traveling violations. And once again, those are things that you just cannot have in a game like this. Tony Bennett making some mass substitution himself. Well, the 10 side, working inside. Great defense from Isaiah Joe. Diakite back out to key. Under three minutes remaining now. This national championship. Bailey out on Walter Tensai. He can shoot the three ball well. He's going to have to get one up at the buzzer. Almost got it to go. Arkansas still only trailing by five despite going on a long, long scoring drought. But they need to hit something here. They've got to go and go in a hurry. Reggie Chaney kicking it out to Jalen Harris. 10 to shoot for Arkansas. Oh, it looked like a goaltending from the Cavaliers. A beautiful, beautiful alley-oop to Reggie Chaney was rimming out. And Virginia batted it out of there. Questionable call here late in this national championship. But Arkansas gets a quick steal from Asia Bailey. And Isaiah Joe gets the lay-in to not fall. Unbelievable. Luckily, getting his own miss, A.J. Bailey making up for that crucial mistake from Isaiah Joe. Arkansas lucky to have landed that one. So despite going what feels like the past three or four minutes without a bucket, Arkansas only finds themselves trailing Virginia 23-20. With 2.03 remaining in this national championship. We mentioned so much about how, you know, people might get tired of us hearing it. But, we say that Virginia doesn't score a lot of points because their opponents don't either. Doesn't mean Virginia blows out their opponents. It's 23-20 to 20 right now. We only have two minutes left to play. Virginia not scoring a lot of points. They're not the flashiest team. They're not the highest scoring team, but they do a good job of shutting down their opponent. That's exactly what they've done here with Arkansas. The Cavaliers have just been unable to capitalize on the other end. Otherwise, these last two minutes might be worthless, and the Cavaliers would be well on their way to a national championship for the second year in a row. So out of the timeout, Virginia, two minutes remaining in this national championship from Atlanta. Huge possessions coming for both teams. Morcel on the drive, high off the glass, gets it to go, and the lead is back to five for the Cavaliers. 
Arkansas clearly has cooled off. They were shooting 58% earlier, while Virginia, in a way, is heating up a little bit. Still shooting under 40%, but just good enough. How does Arkansas respond? Mason Jones out to Reggie Chaney, who is way too far out. Isaiah Joe with five to shoot. They need a bucket here. He's going to take a deep two and hits it. Big shot. From Isaiah Joe, only four points tonight. Hasn't even hit a three-pointer tonight. But one of the biggest shots of the night for this Razorback squad. Well, the side on the drive, kicking it out to Diakite, who banks it in. So Arkansas, who had been doing so well, shutting down Virginia offensively, has allowed two big buckets from them, which puts the pressure on the Razorbacks when they're on the offensive side of the ball. Mason Jones, some nifty handles. Arkansas has a score here, or it might be over. Reggie Chaney out to Jalen Harris. Screen from Adrian Bailey. Harris on the drive. The floater no good. And Virginia's going to push. Marcel on the drive. Kicks it out to Key, who had the open look from the top of the key. Couldn't get it. Well, Tensai out to Marcel. We've got a screen. We've got a mismatch out at the top. Three to shoot for the Cavaliers. Husk out to shoot. Diakite, no good on that three-pointer, Arkansas. 30 seconds remaining. They've got to go. Beautiful pass inside, and Isaiah Joe gets the dunk. Three-point game now, and Arkansas has to start fouling. It doesn't look like they will. Looks like Eric Musselman is going to let them play. Hope to get a rebound and call a timeout to go for the tie. It's a risky decision here for the Razorbacks. Eight to shoot for Walter Tensai. Jalen Harris working on him. Five to shoot. Wall to ten side. Pump fake. Fade away. Gets it to go. Are you kidding me? What a shot from Thomas Wall to ten side. The big man. For the Cavaliers. Arguably the biggest shot in his career. A contested floater with four and a half seconds left in this to put this game on ice. Unbelievable shot. We mentioned how important it was for the Razorbacks to shut down the big man. They couldn't do it against Elaney Chuck against Florida State, but somehow escaped with that three-point victory. And right here, the big man of Walter Tensai, who can shoot the three ball, but has been dominant inside today. Knocks down one of the biggest shots of his career, biggest shot of this NCAA tournament. And you can't help but question, was not fouling the right call? There was still about 30 seconds left when Arkansas got that dunk from Isaiah Joe. They chose not to foul. And without a doubt, the Jordan player of the game is Thomas Walter Tensai. Deep two there earlier at the beginning of this half. Beautiful pass to Diakite earlier. But no play bigger than the shot that he just knocked down that may have just given Virginia their second straight national title. Out of the timeout, four and a half seconds left. Arkansas has got to get a quick bucket. Although I'm not feeling too good about it. Into the corner to Joe. He's going to take his first three of the night off the side of the rim. And that will do it. The Virginia Cavaliers and Tony Bennett have won their second straight national championship. An unbelievable run from the Arkansas Razorbacks. The 11th seed just sneaking into the tournament, making it all the way to the national championship. But the dream dies for Arkansas. And the Cavaliers are the king of the dance for the second straight year, becoming the first team to do so since the 2006 and 2007 seasons. That loss to UMBC, all but an afterthought now. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you so much for watching this coverage of the 2020 NCAA Tournament from start to finish. We want to thank you for your support through all of these simulations. What a fantastic, fantastic way to end it. We'll be heading back to our normal football coverage starting later this week. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. The Virginia Cavaliers are the national champions, king of the dance. We'll see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.